Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this asymmetric polka dot effect using a displacement map in Photoshop. First off, we are going to create our document to create our polka dot pattern. So we're going to go ahead and click on Create New. And then we are going to use the dimensions 400 pixels by 400 pixels. I'm going to leave my resolution at 300. I'm going to have my color mode set to RGB color. And then I'm going to change my background contents to be transparent. And then from here, you can go ahead and click on to create your document. I'm going to zoom in on the canvas using the keyboard shortcut command and the plus sign. And then from here, I'm going to create a circle using the marquee tool. We're going to go hover over here, right click using elliptical marquee tool. And then we are going to change our style to fixed size. And then I'm going to do a 100 pixels by 100 pixels. I will go ahead and click on my canvas here and you will see the outline of that shape. Looking at my colors here, I'm going to make sure they're set to defaults and then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut to fill my foreground, foreground color using the option delete key for Mac. That would be alt backspace for PC users. From here, I am going to deselect it using command D. And then I'm going to pull up my layers panel. I'm going to bring it up using window layers. And then uh, from here, we are going to uh, center our circle on the canvas. So I'm going to use the uh, marquee tool here. And then I'm going to do command A to select everything. And then with pushing the keyboard shortcut V to access the move tool. We are then going to use these um, transform controls to align it center vertically and horizontally to get it in the center of my document here. I'm going to go ahead and deselect command D. And then from here, we are going to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to right click and then select duplicate layer. From here, we are going to go ahead and duplicate our layer. So I'm going to right click, duplicate layer, and then I'm going to uh, convert it to a smart object because we're going to apply a filter to it. So we're going to go right click, convert to smart object, and then from here, we're going to go to filter, other, offset. And then for the offset values, we're going to do, um, we're going to set to the horizontal and vertical, you want to think about the size of your document. So in this case, we had 400 pixels by 400 pixels, and you're going to do it half of that. So in this case, we're going to go 200 pixels horizontally and 200 pixels vertically. And then on the undefined areas, you want to make sure wrap around is selected. That way we get it on all of the four corners for our repeatable pattern. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And then from here, we are going to define our pattern. So let's go to edit, define pattern, and then you can give it a name and then click OK. And then from here, we are going to create our, um, our scrapbook paper. So let's go to file new. And then uh, the size of digital scrapbook paper is 3,600 pixels by 3,600 pixels. I'm going to leave, I'm going to have the re resolution be set to 300 pixels per inch. Our color mode is going to be RGB color. And then we are going to change our background contents to white. And then from here, I'll create the document. For this one, we are going to add a pattern adjustment layer. So here in the layers panel, select your adjustment layers and select pattern. And then from here, we are going to choose our newly created pattern. And then when this dialog box is open, you have the option to uh, change the angle. You can scale it up, scale it down, and then you can even move it around if you want it to be positioned differently. To get it back to its original, you're going to snap to origin, and it will lay according to the original pattern. And then we're just going to go ahead and click on OK. 
The next step is we are going to create a displacement map. So we're going to create a, another document. We're going to go to File, New. I'm going to create a document of the same size as our digital scrapbook paper. So again, it's going to be 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. We'll leave all the settings the same and go ahead and click on Create. And then from here, we are going to uh, make sure, again, that our our default colors are set to default. If they are ever different, you just can click on that to set to default. And then from here, we are going to go to Filter, Render, and then select Difference Clouds. And then what this filter does is it takes those um, colors here and then it will create this kind of cloud cloud effect here. So from here, we are going to save this document. So we'll go to File, Save. Go ahead and give your document a title. So in this case, I'm just going to go uh, Difference Clouds. And then I'm going to save it to a folder called uh, Displacement Maps. And then you'll want to make sure the format is in Photoshop document. And then we'll go ahead and click Save. You can go ahead and exit out of that document and then we'll go back into our pattern document here. And then from here on this pattern fill layer, I'm going to right click and I'm going to convert it to a smart object. This way I can now apply additional filters to it. The next step, we're gonna go up to filter. We'll select distort and then we'll do displace. And then you can adjust these horizontal versus the vertical scale. In this case, I'm going to make it 15 um, horizontal and 15 vertical. Under this displacement map, you have the option of stretch to fit for tile. In this case, we created our displacement map the same size as our document. So it this uh, factor won't come into play here, but if your displacement map is a different size, this is where you would change these values either to stretch it to fit it or to uh, tile it. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK. And then you'll need to select that um, displacement map, that document we just created. So in this case, it was Difference Clouds. I'll select it here, and then I'll go ahead and open it. And then what you can see is it has been applied, and we get this kind of more kind of fun, asymmetric look of these polka dots um, from that typical standard look where they're all the same. It gives this kind of fun fun um, fun effect to this paper and so if you wanted to maybe you want it to intensify it you can click back on this smart filter under displace and then you can change this the horizontal and vertical scale value so let's try 20 and 20 and see how that looks and then each time if you change it you'll need to just reselect that document open it up again, and then you will kind of see that change occur. So it just makes it, a, in some cases, a little bit more intensified there by changing the values. So I actually liked the previous. So I'm going to change it back. Let's go fit back to our 15 and 15, and then select the document here. And then it just gives, it's just a little bit of a subtle, subtle look there. The next step is to uh, change the colors of our pan of our pattern. So we're going to do that by using a color adjustment layer. So here in the layers panel, we're going to select solid color, and then I can change um, select a value. I'm going to pick a, a color swatch here. We'll do a nice uh, turquoise, and then to add it to our pattern, we're going to create a clipping mask. To do that, you can click on right click. And then you can select, looks like I didn't have the correct layer selected here. We'll right click here and then it will say create clipping mask. You can do it from there or you could also use the keyboard shortcut, which is if you hover between the two layers for Mac users, you're going to select option and then click and it will apply the clipping mask for you there. And then if you wanted to um, maybe change the background, you can add another solid color adjustment layer 
and then um, let's select that here and then let's just bring the brightness up a little bit on that color so let's go let's try 80 percent maybe 90 and then you can kind of bring it down if you want to change it a little bit there that can give you a two tone effect and so it's just fun you can kind of play around uh, with the colors maybe we'll switch the um, order up we'll try see how that looks so that's a little bit more fun there with the dark background and more of a light polka dot there so um, once you have your colors the next step is to save it as digital scrapbook paper so we're gonna go to file save as go ahead and give your document a name so we'll do asymmetrical polka dots and then choose your folder and then you'll want to change the format to JPEG and then you'll want to make sure this uh, color profile is still checked there and then go ahead and click on save and then uh, when you're saving a digital scrapbook paper you'll want to um, you want the highest quality so you can um, change the image options here and just drag it to the furthest to the right and then just go ahead and click on OK and then you have your digital scrapbook paper thank you for watching this video on how to create this asymmetric polka dot pattern in Photoshop using a displacement map so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below in the description below I'll leave a link to my shop where you can purchase Photoshop pattern templates you can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell digital paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.